CBC Sports Line with Darcy Rhoda. That question. Steve and Delta, your question for Blue. Steve, are you there? Blue. Go ahead, Blue. Or go ahead, Steve. Blue. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Um, I'll just give you one quick comment and I'll just take uh, take off. Um, in spite of like um, recent actions, uh, what do you think of um, Hollywood Hulk Hogan's recent takeover of the NWA? I never got that. I never got that. I heard uh, Hulk Hogan or something uh, like that. Hulk Hogan in basketball? I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, you're an eight-year NBA veteran. You've seen lots of young guys come to the league. How good can Shreve be? Jerry and Surrey, your question to our panel. Yes, I'd just like a pleasant good evening to everybody. I'm just concerned about the SAT Kinnan thing here. I was wondering if that might, may have been like interacting with the player's performance and everything, and just wondering your responses to any of that. You can you take that one? Go ahead. Well, I don't think the players uh, are too bothered by ESSA. Well, don't fall down on them, sport fans. They're going to be there. <laughs> George Langley, your question for Orlando. Well, we, well we, we'll go right over the Shark Club, but on that. But yeah. there was 40 million. Cliff and Burnaby, your question for Kurt. Hi, everybody. Yeah, Cliff from my hop here. <laughs> are you there, Cliff? Now, Kurt, you coached the team here for a year and a half. Uh, a lot of players today go public with their uh, contracts and playing time. We're joined by Harold Sneft in studio. Terry and Surrey, your question for Harold. What you gonna do? Well, that was a nice call for you. <laughs> Sounded like somebody I fought. <laughs> <laughs> you beat him up pretty good. <laughs> Our profile lease captain Doug Gilmore and Gina Ojic takes your calls. What happened to uh, Gino late in the third period with his finger? Oh, I, I asked him in the room, he said he, uh, he got a slash, I didn't quite see it either, uh, he, I think he, uh, he had a slash uh, by uh, Matt Johnson right on his finger, so uh, uh, I guess he'll be fine though. Yeah. Peter Vancouver, your question for Donald. Yeah, hey, Darcy, love the show. Thanks very hey, much. Um, Donald, do you have a drink before the game like Darcy does before the show? <laughs> no, not really, I think... Uh, that uh, nobody uh, does. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, it's uh, a little tough on the legs. You're uh, one of the enforcers on the team, and of course, Troy Crowder is coming back. Uh, you and Gino seem to really enjoy playing together on the same line. You're, is your strategy to get in there and do lots of forechecking and uh, cause havoc? With that, as we progress here. Well, let's bring on the Russian player who's joined the Canucks two years ago from the Buffalo Sabres. He was Buffalo's fourth pick in the 88 entry draft. After six productive years with the Sabres, Alex was acquired by the Canucks in July of 1995. Last season, he finished the year with 107 points, including 55 goals. He joins Pavel as the only Vancouver player to ever score 50 goals in a season. We're pleased to welcome to CBC Sports Line, Alexander McGilling. Alex, welcome to the show. First of all, your reaction to the big trade with the New York Rangers. Newman and Richmond, your question for Alexander. Newman, are you there? Newman, yes, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Newman, your question for Alex. Good evening. Um, I, just, I just want to tell you, Darcy, I really enjoy your show, and it's great to see that you're on every night after the hockey games. Your question for Alex, thanks a lot. Uh, could you, like, shut up? Well, that's not a good question at all. <laughs> now, listen, you guys leave on a five-game road trip, uh, Alex, uh, starting in Chicago on Monday. Uh, this really is really a telltale for the season, whether or not you guys will make the playoffs. Well, the media lets that happen. Jazz and Langley, your question for our panel. Are you there, Jazz? Yep. Your question for our group here? Oh, okay. I've been like a Canucks, a uh, long-time Canucks fan, and I've just been wondering, like, um, if the Canucks don't make the playoffs this year, if there's going to be um, Tom Rennie or whoever it might be, uh, there might be, like, some kind of incentive fund, such as... The first one to like well, it. Well, uh, let me ask you... Uh, Mike, uh, you had a story today about Gordy Howe making a return April the 1st. Uh, Actually, Darcy, I was going to ask you that question. I'm you, done. Yeah. Hockey history. Anakin and New Westminster, your question for Marcel. Good evening. Good evening. You have failed me for the last time. What's... Oh, I didn't hear that question very clearly. With us is a CBC Sports Line Canucks Player of the Year, Marty Jelena. Richard and Surrey, your question for Marty. Uh, Darcy? Yes, go ahead to Marty. My name is Dick. Oh, really? You good. Nice. That's a nice name. That's very good. Marty, it's been a frustrating year for you and the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, what learning experience can you take from this year? As well, so give us a call. The number's at the bottom of your screen. Now, uh, the show, did you have fun with it? 
We had a lot of fun. Uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great experience for me, personally, uh, to be a host of your own television show and uh, having the producer talk in your ear when you're talking. <laughs> you know all about I that. Know all yeah. about that, eh? <laughs> and throwing to different commercials and different cues. But, uh, you know, I look at the first show uh, and in early October to the last show two weeks ago, and uh, quite a, a drastic yeah. improvement, I would think, uh, for, for sure. my improvement. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we've got our first caller, uh, Rick from Surrey. You're in the locker room. Hey, Darcy. Hello. What are you, some kind of butt <laughs> ventriloquist? Okay. Oh, we got calls yeah, like that here, too, eh? Right? Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I, I hope you didn't have too many on your show like that. We don't have the delay here that you guys got, Darcy, but uh, I want to talk about, hear what Samuel and New West has to say on the issue. Samuel, you're in their locker room. Hi there. I love the show there. Thank you. I just like this comment on uh, Darcy Rhoda. Yeah, you've got the worst, absolute worst show in the world. <laughs> that's that's number that's uh, that's number two. It's like you say, it uh, it happens. And uh, caller in uh, style stick up for Darcy. Uh, I think it was one of the better uh, talk shows we've had in this uh, had in this market. And 